Hello viewers, my name is Cornelius Marie, an open campus student of the University of the West Indies. My campus being Anguilla, but I'm a native of the island of Dominica. This oral presentation is part of the course MGMT6019 called Critical, Analytical and Communication Skills for Managers. My argument today is in support of the topic that educational institution should use information technology in the 21st century classroom. What does a 21st century classroom look like? Take a look. Welcome back. According to page 2009, education in the 21st century classroom should blend knowledge, thinking, innovation skills, media, information and communication technology literacy, and real life experience in the context of a core academic subjects. End of quote. Students are digital natives. They've grown up with technology, it's woven in their lives. In fact, it's one of the basic 21st century skills that they all need in school and in the workplace. But information technology in the classroom isn't just about digital devices in class. It relates to anything that fa facilitates an interaction between teacher and students. Classroom engagement is an at all time low and students are competing against countless devices such as phones, tablets, laptops, etc. Information technology in the 21st century classroom is important for the following reasons. Number one, using technology in the classroom allows you to experience more in the pedagogy and, inst and get instant feedback. Number two, technology in the classroom helps ensure full participation. And three, there are countless resources for enhancing education and making learning more fun and effective. On the other hand, some may argue the point that technology in the classroom may be distracting and sometimes even foster cheating. We'll discuss this further. Information technology in the 21st century classroom is a necessity because it allows students to experience more in the pedagogy and get instant feedback. Oliver 1999 highlights the pedagogic role of teachers in an information technology supported classroom, which includes setting joint tasks rotating roles, promoting student self-management, supporting metacognition, fostering multiple perspective and scaffolding learning. Clearly, we can see that he's stating how the use of ICT is changing the pedagogical role of teachers. Information technology in the 21st century classroom will allow for more active learning. Students can increase engagement through online polling, asking questions or quiz questions during class sessions with instantaneous results. Subject matters is dynamic and timely, with digital textbook embedded links to relative materials or student maintained course wikis. Whether adding a single tool for a specific project or term, or making a more dynamic change such as a flipped classroom, being well versed in technology can help build credibility with students and even fellow colleagues. When information technology is integrated in the classroom, this will definitely give a better clear idea of your student progress. Another valid reason why information technology should be part of the 21st century classroom is that it helps ensure student full participation, creating learning communities in which students can interact collaboratively with others to build peer-peer relationship can be accomplished using information technology. This engagement is very valuable. Nelson 2005. With the present situation of the COVID-19 affecting the world, educational institutions have made full use of information technology to continue education or educating the students who are not able to be in a physical classroom. Another relevant point which must be highlighted is that information technology in the 21st century classroom provides countless resources for enhancing education and making learning more fun and effective. One emphasis is placed on the key methods so that the design fully supports the course learning objectives, then the full purpose will be attained. Similarly, digital short story through gamification can make learning more exciting and sometimes relatable for students. In conclusion, Hillman 2002 posits that information and communication technologies should be a commonplace entity in all aspects of life of students and educators.
Over the last 10 to 20 years, the use of information technology have fundamentally changed the practices and procedure of, all, of nearly all forms of educational institution. The use of ICT in education lends itself to a more student-centered learning setting, and often this creates some tension for some teachers and students. But with this world moving rapidly into digital information system, the role of IT in the education is becoming more and more important, and this importance will be continued to grow in the 21st century. Once again, it serves to provide the means for much of its activity to realize the potential it holds. It is on this premise, once again, I fully support the topic that educational institution should make information technology mandatory in the 21st century classroom. Thank you for watching.